Hi everyone, it's time for a June book of the month, which is The Air Affair by Jasper Ford. It's a part of the Thursday Next series. Um, and so it's kind of a, a detective novel mystery um, it takes place in an alternate universe in the 1980s but there's time travel and there is this really weird like fluidity between reality and literature so people can like hop into books and back out and characters from books can come into our world and because of that terrible crimes take place like Dickens characters can be killed by terrible murderers or Jane Eyre can disappear suddenly. And so the world has something called literatex, basically literature detectives who solve literature crimes, and the heroine, Thursday Next, is one of those literatex. Um, so the book is super quirky, it's um, really smart, has great references to books and stuff that are fun to try to catch. Um, it's also hilarious, and... Um, I don't know. I loved it. It felt like the perfect summer read to me. So my two favorite things about it were, one, it's so funny. Like, I was just laughing out loud the whole time. Um, has a really – well, it's kind of like half and half. Sometimes the humor is really witty and high-minded, and you feel, like, really smart if you catch the joke. And then sometimes it's very on the nose. Like, uh, there are literal bookworms, and they fart out commas and apostrophes and so whenever you are near these bookworms and the story the page literally has like too many commas and apostrophes in it and so it's it's very funny um and that I enjoyed a lot and the second thing I liked was that it felt like it had this perfect balance of being a really light read it was um, action-packed and you just like can't wait to find out what's next it's never depressing or um, plotting you just want to keep reading but also it's um, it doesn't feel like fluff or something there's some very like tender moments um, the character herself has to like work through some difficult things in her past and she has um, to kind of decide if she wants to love someone but in order to do so she'd have to forgive him for something in the past um, and then also you interact a lot with Edward Rochester from the novel of Jane Eyre and it's really fun to get in his mind and sort of get his perspective on the whole story of Jane Eyre and that is also um it's smart and thoughtful and compelling so I loved it because um, I felt like my mind was engaged the whole time, but it was also an enjoyable read. I stayed up till midnight one night and fish finishing it because I just would rather read than go to bed. It was very fun. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you haven't had a chance to read it, go try to pick up a copy from the library or snag it online. Um, it's a great book, and I actually am going to go try to find the other books in the series because I liked it so much. I want to read some more. And I can't wait to hear what you liked about the book. Have a great day. Bye.